just when you thought that the Stephen Anderson camp couldn't get any more childish and pathetic. Uh, yes, an Easter egg hunt in a video debunk debunking dispensationalism. You can trust it. when preachers are telling you that you can hunt for Easter eggs, you can trust them. They are they are Bible scholars. Let's watch a little bit of this. It's good for a laugh. I'm satisfied with the finished product, and I, and I think it'll be of a help to people who don't understand the subject of dispensationalism and why it's dangerous. And so many <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah, it is. Sure. Make sure you watch that. Now, one thing I'm going to be doing just to make this a little more exciting is that next week when I release it at 9 o'clock a.m., I'm going to have a contest. And this contest will last for a full 24 hours from 9 o'clock a.m. Monday to 9 o'clock a.m. Tuesday. And within the film, I've placed three Easter eggs. The, the film is compiled of three chapters. And so there's one Easter egg in each of those chapters. And an Easter egg is simply a hint, an unexpected hint that I placed within the film of a future documentary that I'm going to be working on. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, I found one. I found it. It's an Easter egg. You see? You see? I found one. I found one. It's actually just an egg with, you know, silly putty in it. It's my son's. He keeps it here on my desk for if he's up here and I'm, you know, visiting with me while I'm working on my computer. But uh, I found an Easter egg. Hey, look, everybody, it's an Easter egg in the video. Oh, it means something special. You know, show what timestamp it is and whatever else. And, and you know, uh, if you don't know anything about the Steven Anderson cult, okay, these are the same people that uh, bring out trading cards. Here's uh, Paul Wittenberger, the uh, Hollywood movie guy that works for Steven Anderson. Framing the world is what it's called there. And uh, they bring out uh, trading cards with pastors and things on it. And I'm, I'm featured. I, don't, I forget where my card's at. Right now. I'm featured on one of their cards as, as a villain. That's pretty good. Somebody sent me the one card. I don't even know where it is right now. But, you know, uh, yeah. Um, this is what these people do. Now, I'm still holding out for the day when they come out with Barbie dolls. You know, a, a Steven Anderson Barbie doll and, a, you know, this other guy, this this guy here. You know, I have Barbie dolls. But first, they're going to you know, look for the Easter eggs. Okay? It's important to look for the Easter eggs. <sighs> Never mind the occult significance of the Easter egg and the Easter bunny and whatever else. And, you know. So, uh, I'm going to put some links actually to real dispensational teaching and preaching. Uh, stuff the Lord helped me to bring out over the years on dispensationalism. I'll put the links at the end of this video so you can actually, you know, understand just how uh, <coughs> dangerous um, dispensationalism is. Um, you will not truly understand the Bible until you become a dispensational believer. And the Bible talks about dispensations. It appears four times in the King James Bible. It's not some kind of an extra biblical thing or whatever else. Um, okay, so uh, please watch my studies and find out more about how to rightly divide the word of truth. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.